I've been drawing since 2000. I repaired cameras and optical equipment before that. I've actually been drawing all my life. My father was a commercial illustrator, so we were always drawing. I'm kind of a dilettante as far as art goes. There are those like my wife and my father who uh, do their art because that's what you do to make a living. I find that very difficult, so I have a tendency to wait until the spirit moves me. One of the things that I learned from my father, because he was an illustrator and had to work fast, uh, the material is not always present when you need it, so you tend to collect it. If you use photographs, you use them in combination and you develop the picture out of your head essentially, and then you use the information from photographs in order to realize that. So I have a, an egret which is probably done from five or six different photographs. One for one foot, one for the other foot, uh, one for the type of, of, of wing structure, uh, one for the head angle, that type of thing. And then I combine them all together. And in the end, it doesn't even have to be anatomically correct. It just has to look right. This is my grandfather's study when we were growing up. Um, it's just from memory. It's basically a picture about stories and stories that are handed down, and stories that are passed along. That's what, to me, the ideal picture, whether it's done drawing, painting, weaving, whatever, portrays a story because the stories are the important thing.